Welcome back to Professional Tutors. We're a team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help you to reach your full potential. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how to calculate the perimeter of a circle. Now here is a little starter for you. If you don't know what are these, go back and watch our video on parts of a circle and you'll be fine. We know from last lesson, the formula to calculate circumference of a circle is, so C equals pi times T. So C the circumference, D is the diameter. Now here's a question for us. Find the parameter of the shape below and leave your answer in terms of pi. It's very important to read the question carefully. In this case, they want us to leave the answer in terms of pi. Now we have been given the diameter of a circle. The formula to calculate the circumference of a circle is C equals pi times D. The diameter is six centimeters. The answer is going to be six pi. Now remember, six pi is a circumference of the whole circle. Now here, we have to find the circumference of half of the circle or a semicircle. So we have to half this value here. So divide this value by two. And the answer is going to be three pi centimeters. That is the circumference of a semicircle. Now we want to find out the perimeter. And the perimeter is the sum of all the sides. This side here, this arc, which is a semicircle or circumference of a semicircle, and this line here, which is a diameter. So we have to add the circumference of the semicircle and the length of this diameter to get to us to the final answer. The, 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 the final answer, the final parameter is going to be three pi, which is the length of this semicircle here, plus six, which is the length of this diameter here. So three pi plus six. Now, if you go back and read the question again, it says here, leave your answer in terms of pi. That means we don't need to simplify that question further. So that is going to be your final answer. Now, have a look at this question here. It says here, find the parameter of the shape below. And in this case, they want us to leave the answer to, to one decimal place. Now, in this case, they have given us the radius of a circle, which is eight meters. You double the radius to find the diameter first. Double, if you double eight, that's going to be 16. So diameter is going to be 16 meters. The formula to calculate the circumference of a circle is here C equals pi times T. And the diameter is 16 meters. So pi times 16. Now remember, this is the circumference of the whole circle. Now this one here is a quarter, is a quarter of a circle. So you have to divide the whole answer by four to find out the length of the quarter of the circumference. The answer is going to be four pi meters. Now we need to find out the perimeter and we know the perimeter is a sum of all the sides. So the perimeter is going to be four pi plus eight and plus eight. 
Now it's important to read the question again. It says here, leave your answer to one decimal place. So plug these values in the calculator, and that's the complete answer, and round that to one decimal place, and that's going to be your final answer, 28.6 meters to one decimal place. Now here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and we're gonna look at the answers in a minute. So the answers are, for this question, the parameter is going to be 14.28, 13.6 centimeters, 27 meters, and that's going to be 124 pounds. If you got the answers correct, give yourself a tick and a smiley face. If the answers are wrong, give yourself a, a cross and a sad face. And there's no need to be sad. Go back, watch the video again, and give them another go. I'm sure you'll be fine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share to stay connected for our upcoming videos.